So you're interested in digital marketing and you don't know exactly how to get started. Don't worry about it. In this episode, we're gonna take you step by step on the initial onboarding steps for you to be able to leverage today's social media platforms. Let's get started. So there's a series of steps that I want you guys to focus on in regards to getting yourself set up. Uh, I'm calling this digital marketing setups. When you say digital marketing, well, you have the word digital. What does that mean? What well, it means marketing on the digital platforms. Digital has to do with all these internet platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Snapchat, TikTok. These are platforms that are digital platforms that we can actually get a message out there. So you need to figure out as part of your strategy, how to use all these platforms. If you look at the number one step, uh, that you need to get done is exactly that. What is your content strategy? Now keep in mind that these steps are a sequence of actions to take. You don't move on to the next one until you're done with the first one. So if I'm telling you guys to figure out a content strategy, that is the first thing you need to get done. In my case, I have done over two and a half billion views across social media. B billion with a B, and I have done hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue, all coming from social media marketing. So I know a little bit about what I'm saying right now, so I want you to pay attention because this is the exact roadmap that I have taken to accomplish crazy numbers like the ones that I just mentioned right now. Content strategy, what does that mean? Well, let's break that down into a couple of different steps that have to do with developing that strategy. The main thing that you need to decide, the main thing you need to determine is this word right here, super power. I know that sounds cliche-ish. Well, in the social media world, these platforms are platforms to capture attention. They, these are not platforms that you can just go straight for the sale. In social media, it's no different than if you're gonna date somebody, you're gonna make sure that you nurture them, you take them out to dinner, uh, your husband, your wife, the way that you started on the process was very similar to the way that you're gonna start the process with social media and digital marketing. You're going to nurture them. You're gonna take your potential prospects, your followers, your audience, you're gonna take them out to dinner, you're gonna take them out to lunch, you're gonna take them out to, uh, to have a coffee, you're gonna engage with them, you're gonna give them some value, you're gonna show them how you can actually make a difference in their lives. You're gonna introduce yourself and let them know that you really care about them. Digital marketing is the same thing. It has to start there. Now, it hasn't always been like that. Marketing hasn't always been like that. And I can tell you that even digital marketing has not always been like that. You used to be able to create an ad, commercial, infomercial, 30 second ad, one minute ad, and put it in front of people and generate instant sales. People have not seen you before, they see your product, they like it, and they purchase your product. That is very old school marketing. That's not the way it works today. If you really wanna get things going and you wanna build a machine that uh, can, you can automate and start scaling and generating a lot more sales, you're gonna to have to build this process. The only way that you can get away with not building this process of nurturing people, of letting them know that you care about them, of providing value first, is if you have a revolutionary product. Now, before you start saying to yourself, so my product is revolutionary. I have a unique beauty cream. I have a unique toy that children love more than any other toy out there. Before you start saying that, realize that everybody thinks their product is special. Just like everybody thinks their children is special. Uh, they're, they're special. They're the most incredible children in the world and they're so lucky to have the best children in the world. What they don't realize is that their children maybe not necessarily are the most incredible human beings in the world, they're just their human beings, which means that they own them and they feel proud about them. But there's a lot of great people out there too. So you love your children in the same way that you love your products, but you gotta realize that there's another billion children out there similar to yours. Sure, your, yours might be very intelligent. Yours might be a great child, very, de very dedicated to his family, very polite. Uh, just like you might have a product which is an incredible beauty cream very natural, very special for the, for, the, for the face. I don't know what it is, but you gotta realize that these two things are exactly the same thing and they're comparable. The moment that you realize that there's other people out there like you, 
brands like you, millions and millions and millions of brands like you, that moment you stop feeling that you're that special and you stop also feeling entitled. When you stop feeling entitled, you realize that you have to figure out a content strategy. Because the way that you're gonna figure out how to get that attention, the way that you're gonna get that attention, the way that you're gonna be able to leverage the attention out there is by differentiating yourself from the rest of the people. I took my dad's value, his information, and I, we put him in front of a camera, he gave value to the world, and we ended up doing a $50 million a year brand seven years after. So this is something that I have done myself several times over the years. I'm not just talking from an idea or a wish or a dream, I'm talking about being practical and establishing this roadmap myself. So content strategy, you gotta figure out what is your superpower? What is that thing that you talk about every single day? with your family, with your friends, at your parties, that you actually enjoy, that you know that candle never burns out. That no matter how much you talk about it, the next day you wake up feeling again a desire to talk about it. And that's your superpower. How do you make the world a better place? Ideally, all related to whatever your product or service is. In my case, for example, I am a digital marketer. I'm obsessed with capturing attention. I have a strong burning desire to build businesses and to help entrepreneurs and business owners and marketers understand how these platforms work. I cannot shut this thing down. No matter what, I want to talk about it and I will ever, ever, ever get tired about this particular subject. That's my superpower and that's how I can help the world and that's how I can help you understand these platforms and accomplish success similar to what I've accomplished over the years. So superpower is your thing, is the thing that you want to give to the world to make it, to make them better. If you're a car mechanic, show them how to fix that car inside and out. If you're a uh, designer, show them how to make their house beautiful beautiful, if you're an interior designer, if you're a real estate agent, show them how to make uh, a, an informed decision about the property that they want to buy or sell. And the list goes on and on. We all have something special that we can give out to the world. And that's your content strategy. And once you have that figured out and you know how you're going to entertain people, you're going to inspire them, how you're going to educate them and make them better, then you move on to the next step. That next step is social setups. What does that mean? Now we're gonna get to the nitty gritty of it. We're gonna start doing some actions here. Well, let's break these down. Social setups refers to individual social media platforms that you want to leverage. Now, do you wanna leverage specific ones or do you wanna leverage every single one that this incredible world has allowed you to leverage for free without even having to put your own pennies to put your message there? Well, the answer is quite obvious, right? Our ancestors, my grandfather, did not have this opportunity right here. If you wanted to be on a newspaper, if you wanted to be on the TV or on the radio, he had to pay to be a part of it. We don't, we can actually leverage these platforms. So what do you wanna do? You wanna be everywhere where there's potential to find an audience that's interested in your products and services long-term. So you gotta have your social media channels set up. So let's break them down. We got Facebook, we got IG, we got IGTV, we got Pinterest, we got Twitter, and this can change, right? Because it's changing very fast. But some of these guys are winners. They are here to stay. They're not going anywhere. So you wanna position yourself there. TikTok, you have Snapchat, you have a new app right now which is catching fire, which is an audio only app. At this point, it's, uh, it's still very small. There's only about a million or two million people on the platform. Clubhouse is only for iPhone users, but probably when you're watching this video, it's already an Android also platform. Clubhouse is an audio only platform. Uh, and what am I missing? Of course, LinkedIn. It doesn't go that much more deeper than this. Basically, you wanna set up everywhere. So if you look at the individual demographics of each platform, they're going to vary from platform to platform. LinkedIn is very dedicated as a business to business platform and also people looking for opportunities to join great companies. But there is a really good audience there. Uh, you wanna use Snapchat if you have an audience which is a younger demographic. 
traffic. It's also valuable and they've been getting better with their ad product. TikTok is a very growing, fast growing social media platform. These guys have done things right so far and they have also an ad product that you're gonna be able to utilize along the way. Twitter is Twitter. Twitter has been around for a long time and sending a message there and having a brand in that place is actually an important place for you to be at. So you definitely wanna be there. Uh, Pinterest, um, IGTV, if you guys don't know what IGTV is, I think I repeated Twitter uh, twice here, so I apologize for that. Uh, if you don't know what IGTV is, Instagram TV is the competitor. I actually missed out on a huge one right here, right? We can give it its own space. YouTube, all right? If you don't have a YouTube channel, you should create a YouTube channel for your brand because that's gonna be an important place for you to spread a message. Uh, IGTV is Facebook's response to YouTube. They want to create a platform that is long form content, long form video content that people can search for content and find it there. That's what IGTV is all about. It complements Instagram. If, in case you didn't know, Facebook owns uh, both IG and IGTV. Uh, and you can easily get that set up and it's a free platform just like all the other ones. And Facebook, of course, this is a platform that, that you want to be at. Facebook, Instagram, IGTV are one company and these other companies, Pinterest, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, Clubhouse, LinkedIn, these companies are individual companies that have enormous attention where you can position your brand as an authority on them. Once you figure out your content strategy, you wanna move into setting up your channels on these platforms, on all of them, with a similar branding across the board. What is the name of your brand? You're gonna to try to find approximate to that particular name to make it all like stand out and when somebody finds you on Facebook and they find you on YouTube and they find you on Pinterest they know it's you and nobody else acting on your behalf branding should be congruent across all these platforms all right, so you're gonna set that up. What does that mean? Well, you're gonna put your Facebook page, your Instagram profile, you're gonna put your, your profile pictures, you're gonna put your banners, you're gonna put all those things, you're gonna set them all up and be ready to roll with your content strategy that you came up with. You're gonna, on the content strategy, you're gonna start doing now the first step, which is omnipresence. What are you doing omnipresence? This is, this is what I call the God marketing plan because this plan right here is going to allow you to be everywhere and this plan is free and all it requires is your own energy and your own sweat and this is how you get started. Before you do any digital advertising, before you spend any money on marketing, make sure these three steps are done and only when you have them done and you're fully rolling across these platforms, you can now consider taking some of your hard earned money and putting it in social platforms for amplification and reaching more people. Do not amplify, do not invest on advertising unless you're fully set up to get that attention and have that presence across social media platforms. Omnipresence is basically God marketing plan type in which you're trying to replicate what God is for the world. He is omnipresent, he's everywhere. He knows what everybody's doing. He, you cannot hide things from God. Omnipresence is basically that phenomena in the world of social media. You wanna be everywhere. You wanna start doing your videos, or your images, or your articles, or your audio formats. You wanna start doing it, or all of them at the same time, like myself, I have a podcast, I have videos, I have blogs, I have articles, I have the written word, I have graphics, all of it. You wanna be omnipresent. How much? It really does depend on you. I recommend that you do quantity, but I also recommend that you try to keep the quality in place. These two things and the combination of them are gonna be important for your growth on these platforms. The better that you are, the faster that you will get there, but remember, you're only competing against yourself, but this right here is a future. So in short, let's summarize it. Content strategy. What are you gonna to do to provide that value to the world, to capture attention? Because you know that's how you're gonna differentiate yourself with all your competitors out there. Social setups, get everything set up over there. Once you have that clear, get your branding in place across all these incredible and free platforms. Number three, start putting content out there. Facebook Live, Instagram Stories, Newsfeed posts on Instagram and Facebook, LinkedIn posts on, on, on the actual feed and on Stories, Snapchat Stories, TikTok. You wanna be as much as possible everywhere that allows you to be and spread a message there with good quantity combined with good quality along the way. 
along the way you will get better your quality of content will improve you should go back and, and see some of my first videos ever I've been doing this for four years now and I have a marketing agency built from my content and my education and my webinars and my seminars so again what I'm telling you is based on actual practical things that I have walked myself along the way otherwise I wouldn't talk about this all right so I hope that has provided a lot of value to you. If you have a marketing question for me, if you wanna engage with me somehow, there's a couple of things that you can do. You can send me a text message at 813-212-2196. That's my personal line, it goes directly to me. Let me know what your question is, how I can help you, or you can visit my website for more information about what we do here at AGM Marketing, agmagency.com. AGM stands for Attention Grabbing Media. I will see you in the next episode. Talk soon.